All right, so week two for Captain Hypatia's level up quest pack is now available. Now, oddly enough, it says it started yesterday at 9 a.m., but I'm pretty sure it just went live today. So if you haven't bought the skin yet, it's 1,200, and of course you get a massive 28 levels when all is said and done. Most people weren't too excited about the skin itself, and in particular her secondary armored style, but the first style I really enjoy. However, what is exciting is this wrap. This looks like an amazing wrap, plus this pickaxe. Backlink's just okay. So if we go to our quests, you can see that if you haven't done part one, you can still obviously do that. And part two is in Shattered Slab, so we gotta collect seven different tokens, and I believe they're all around in this area. So I'm gonna do it in Team Rumble, and then I'll showcase the wrap, and you can see if it's worthwhile. So look at this, we have a perfect Team Rumble circle. Are you kidding me? I don't know how many of you remember this, but the original few level up quest packs, they were all over the place. You'd have one right here, then you'd have to go up here, then over here, then down here. It was all over. Now they've made it so they're all right next to each other, which is incredibly easy. How easy is it? Well, let's take a peek and find out. And obviously they do show up as ginormous circles, and they show up on your mini-map in the top right. This is what you're looking for right here. And then the next one will instantly show up as well. Looks like we gotta get on the rail for this one. Pretty cool. I'm gonna ride the rail over, I think, one more even. Yep. So much easier in Team Rumble because you can instantly redeploy. Looks like they're all rail related. Yeah, just follow the rails. We're almost done already. I love that they added rails all over the place now. By the end of the season, they're probably going to be everywhere. Oh, are we done already? No. So it looks like there's one more. There it is right there. Amazing. Oh, that was it. So one of them is not on the guardrail, and all the other ones are, which makes it incredibly easy. So this is the reward for part one. Most of you probably already have it. And part two... Today is the Crimson Sun Wrap. Look at that. Looks very, very clean. Let's go take a closer look in-game. All right, here we go. Let's take a peek. So obviously, the back bling and the wrap aren't going to go with this skin very well. It's meant for her secondary style. With that said, it doesn't look too bad. You can see it does float off the back, which in her case, because of her long hair, is good. Looks like it has some fluid animation. Nice physics, too. But again, that was last week's reward. We're more focused on this, the wrap. So a beautiful black and red animation on the front of the weapon there. It's got a little bit of teal on the back. And other than that, it's just a solid red. Now, it's not reactive at all. It's just simply animated. A very clean-looking black and red wrap with a little bit of teal. It matches the back bling really, really nicely. I can't wait for the pickaxe, though. That's my favorite thing that I really want. Gotta wait a little longer for it though. All right, so here it is on the wrap skin. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Look at that. Like I said, a beautiful animation there. And it's way more evident on the wrap skin, clearly, because the whole upper portion gets that animation, as opposed to on your weapon where it's just the front. Looks pretty solid on the shotgun there too. So there it is on the wrap skin's pickaxe as well. And again, a majority of it is animated, which is perfect. Here's what it looks like from the front. Can't see as much animation, but from your gaming perspective, without a back bling, this is pretty good. How about in the dark? You can see the blue teal lights light up phenomenally in the dark as well. That's pretty clean. A solid wrap. I would buy the level up quest pack just for the levels and this wrap. So there you go. Like I said, this wrap is definitely worthy of getting and this is the only way to get it. It'll never come back, and if you don't complete the quest by the end of the season, you'll never get it. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.